Hey everybody, welcome back to Royal Country. Today I'm bringing you a cute trash to treasure reversible St. Patrick's Day signs. They are so easy to make. They started out looking like this and that video is linked in the description box below. Now this is a Cricut project. I have a Cricut, I'm learning how to use it. And so what you're seeing here is I had a decal and then also some wording. I put them on two separate mats but then decided to cut them on one. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. Now my St. Patrick's day decor is in this forest green it is a premium vinyl by Cricut and it is called removable mat um, I'm not going to be removing it but it is what I could find in this sort of hunter green forest green that I wanted for my st. Patrick's Day decor this year um, I'm using very little of the bright green uh, but all I did was uh, put it into my design space and now I'm bringing it over to my machine. It's telling me to go ahead and load and then it really just does the rest. So once that little C starts to flash, I'll go ahead and push that and it will start to cut this out. Now I'm doing two sayings. Irish Kisses and Shamrock Wishes and I'm using the font The Skinny that is free for personal use on defaut.com. I'm using that because I do farmhouse decor and this is a perfect Ray Dunn dupe font. So I'm able to cut it on the same mat and now I'm going to go ahead and weed out the shamrock that I made and also next up will be coming the wording. I'm going to share this as a public file on my design space. If you'd like the link for that, I'm gonna to try to link that in the description box below. Please know that I'm not trying to discriminate against people who don't have a Cricut. Um, it took me a long time to get off that fence and actually buy one and I'm so, so happy that I did. I'm planning to start selling some of the decals that I make here in the very near future. But in the meantime, I know that these can be converted to a PDF so that they can be printed out and use a different transfer method. And I'm gonna to try to figure out how to do that too because I'd like for those of you who don't have a cricket to be able to take advantage of this type of decor. What I really enjoy about my cricket is being able to weed out the vinyl away from whatever it is that I cut out. I really find that extremely relaxing, so I do enjoy this part of the actual process of doing this. I have a link to Cricut in my description box below. Just know that it is an affiliate link. Should you choose to purchase anything by using my link, I may, might make a couple dollars. It would help my channel, but there is no pressure and I'm not asking you to go ahead and do that today. So I just wanted to mention that it is there in case you happen to see it in the description box. Also guys, I'm fighting a cold, so I apologize for how nasally I sound. I know that this is a little annoying, at least it is to me, but here we go. I've got the three of them done and weeded, and now I'm just sort of trimming around the shamrock and cutting down the away the paper that I don't need, just to make it easier for me to transfer the wording and the little shamrock. So this is going to become part of the buffet tour that is dropping this Friday. So today is Monday the 24th, and I am dropping this today. I have a video coming out Wednesday that is also St. Patrick's Day decor, and then on Friday I have the entire buffet that I uh, try to decorate. I'm going to have that uh, here for you all. Now I'm using my favorite duck brand clear contact paper. I'm just taking off a little bit of the um, stickiness just so you know I'm going on to a painted piece. It's not freshly painted but just to be sure that I don't pick up any paint with it and now I'm just burnishing the shamrock onto the transfer paper itself and we'll roll it back. This is another part that is so satisfying to watch it come off of the piece like that. I'm telling you guys, this is very relaxing crafting. And now I'm just going to lay it down onto the other side of this wooden block and I'm just going to burnish it down and then we'll remove the transfer tape. And now we'll have a piece that I can use from Valentine's Day and it will take me all the way through St. Patrick's Day. And that little shamrock, again, free in the Cricut Design space. All this wording is, is a free font that I downloaded 
and put onto my computer. Then I went into my design space and opened up a text box, just like you would if you were using Word, and typed out what I wanted, played around a little bit with the sizing. This is going to be the reverse of my XOXO that is also in the Ray Dunn font for Valentine's Day. And, you know, once you do that in design space, you save, you, well, for those of you who have one and are not quite sure, what I do is I attach everything and then weld it into one piece after I'm satisfied with it. And then I go to make it and it cuts it out just like this. So there's the Irish Kisses on the other side of my XOXO, which I thought was appropriate, you know. And now this other one is a typewriter font in the words be mine for, again, Valentine's Day. But I'm going to reverse this one to have it say Shamrock Wishes. And I thought these were really cute little sayings. Super easy, guys. There's not a lot of money invested in this at all. I had pieces of wood that I painted up with paint that I already had. And then I used a little bit of my vinyl and my new Cricut machine to make these for myself. So I wanted to share with you what I was doing, maybe give you a little bit of an idea of what you can do for yourself. Again, even if you don't have a Cricut, you can totally take a piece of wood, paint it up, print out a PDF, and use the transfer method with maybe some graphite paper and trace it out that way. Or you could use a pencil and rub the back of your printout and then turn it over and place it down on your painted piece and use maybe a pen or a pencil to then trace it out. And then you can come back with a marker. I've seen people use Sharpies, all kinds of stuff. So there is a way to make this happen, even if you don't have a Cricut. But I wanted to share with you that I'm totally new at this, guys. And if I can get over you know, the worry that I wouldn't be able to master this Cricut and get started, then you can too. <laughs> That's what I'm here for today, guys. Encouragement. So this is a super quick and easy DIY. I hope you guys are feeling inspired. I want to take a minute to say hey to my returning subscribers. Thank you again so much for coming back to watch another one of my videos. And if you're new here, I really hope you'll consider subscribing and becoming a member of the Row Country family here on YouTube. Here is a look of my at my three completed Cricut Easy Signs, guys. This was my Trash to Treasure reversible St. Patrick's Day signs. So I can take this from Valentine's Day all the way through St. Patrick's Day. Go ahead and watch another video while you're here, guys. And please consider hitting subscribe. It's right down there below. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.